Yo, what up, yo, it's your boy Shady C here. So, my libtards out there, my little insignificant, idiotic libtards, do you people just speak and then forget what you say? Is that what you do? Just last week, you were saying that race shouldn't matter when someone plays a character with Ariel. Now, Scarlett Johansson gave a quote and it was taken out of context, but the meaning was still similar, the original meaning. That as an actress, she should be able to play any role. And she was right. She was basically saying the same thing that the libtards were saying just last week. Think about it. If this was last week and she was talking about the Ariel situation, she could have easily said, yeah, that... You know, who cares what race Ariel is? An actor should be able to play any role. And you all would have agreed. See, that's the problem with the left, people. They have amnesia. They say something, and then a week later, the same thing is said, but it's on the opposite side of the coin. And they're freaking out. They're hypocrites. America is screwed right now. Trump's going to win re-election. I don't want that. Regardless of what any people think, I am not a Republican or a Trump supporter. I do not want another four years of Trump, but he's going to win. Let me explain why. And I'll tie it back into this whole situation. Okay. It's common knowledge that libtards are hypocrites. And if if you want to know more about my views, there's a video on my channel called the difference between a liberal and a libtard. Libtards are hypocrites. It's basically like your mom, when your mom would go and drink a fifth of vodka and then look at you and say, do what I say, not what I do. With libtards, it's okay if any place, if, if any race plays any race, if you're not white. If you're white, you, you can't play anything almost. You're like, fucking public enemy number one you know what this is doing this is making more people republican there are more hispanic and more african american republicans now than at any other time in history people are running to trump because at least he's not a hypocrite he's a liar he's a cheat he's all these horrible things but he's not a hypocrite you knew he was an asshole when you voted for him It's like that honest player who says, you knew I was a dog when you met me. That's what it is. The left, unfortunately, you almost can't wrap your mind around the vast stupidity. They say something, and then a week later, say the exact opposite. Black girl picked to play Ariel. Republicans, conservatives, racists were losing their mind. Liberals were like, hey, it shouldn't matter the race. It shouldn't matter. Then a week later, Scarlett Johansson says, I should be able to play any role I want. And the left loses their mind. (sighs) Hypocrisy, people. Nobody likes a hypocrite. People like cheaters, liars, swindlers more than they like hypocrites. Rapists may even be a little higher on the scale than hypocrites. I said, May, settle down. Don't get your granny panties in a bunch. But it's just so annoying. It literally makes me want to pull the hair from my head. And there's not much there. So I'd be doing this. The left just doesn't get it. It's like talking to somebody who's mental, mentally just not there. It's, it's, it's like explaining it to an infant. You can't really sit there and have a full explanation with an infant. It is literally like that. It's like a kindergartner on a playground. And the way they throw around the word hatred, they throw it around till it's almost becoming meaningless, which I think was their goal to begin with. I made a conspiracy video about that. It was mocking conspiracy there, so I'm starting to believe it. There's just so many problems with the left right now. And they don't see it. And it's so fucking cringy and pathetic. Look, people. All I'm saying is one thing. 
I've said it for a while now. Consistency counts. Be consistent. That's all. That's all I want. I will get on my hands and knees and beg the libtards. Just be consistent. That's all. I'm the most consistent person in the world. I'm anti-death penalty and against abortion. Both of those are forms of the death penalty. You got people on the right and the left. One may be for abortion and again and against the death penalty or the other way around. So many people lack consistency. That's all I'm begging for here. Consi be consistent, that's all. If you're gonna have an opinion or a viewpoint, you're welcome to it. But be consistent. I don't want another Trump presidency, but I feel like we're going to get it. I feel like we're going to get it. <clears throat> because there's no consistency anywhere. I'm against the death penalty and for abortion, a lot of them say. Trump is, I mean, Sanders is. And I, I'm probably going to vote for Sanders. But he's talks about kids in cages. It's horrible that we put kids in cages, but we can kill them and have abortions. It makes no sense. Just consistency. That is the point of this video, people. Be consistent. Either Ariel can only be white and every race can only be what they are. Or it's all free for all and anyone can be anything. Honestly, I prefer anyone being anything. When I go see a movie, I don't go to a movie looking to get offended. I don't go to a movie looking to get butt hurt. A lot of y'all do that though. Y'all will go looking to get offended, hoping to get offended. Please get offended. It's crazy. I go to a movie looking to be entertained. Ugh. Libtards are killing me here. And then someone will when I'm in a discussion, I'll post a meme. This is what you look like when you use the word libtard. Only to libtards. Republicans are just as bad. I swear I don't like libtards or republicans. Now I have friends on both sides. I have friends that are republicans and friends that are libtards. I still love them. That's what tolerance is again. We can go into that too. Libtards don't know what the meaning of tolerance actually is. Well, if it's hatred, I shouldn't tolerate hate. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Uh, both sides are just fucking out to lunch mentally. They're fucking out to lunch. There's nothing you can say. I'm not even trying to sound cool. I'm not trying to do the Shady C voice. I'm just sick of it. All we, and when I say we, I mean the normal folk. All we ask for is consistency. That's it consistency think about when you're baking a cake and you've got the cake batter you can't have half the batter lumpy and half the batter smooth it has to be consistent the same throughout consistency that's what I ask for from the left that's what I ask for from the right from all sides of the political spectrum be consistent <sighs> 